I thought I'd put together a video of, or a review rather, of a website that I use quite a lot to get my um, my bits and pieces fine brewing, and that is the Malt Miller. Um, I thought I'd kind of do a little video of kind of the whole ordering process from start to finish, just to show the service that you get, because I think it's probably one of the best that you get from kind of a home brew uh, supplier. Um, I've never had any problems. Um, you've probably seen some other videos, you know, where I've bought the um, the corker and the corks to do the champagne bottles. Um, I've most recently bought um, a 25 kilo sack of pale malt. Um, I've had very hot, various hops and packets of yeast and whatnot, and the service has always been, you know, top quality. Uh, one of the main reasons that I think that I shop there is price. I think it's, you know, comparable to some websites. The price that is on the Malt Miller website is really cheap when you compare it to other places. Uh, most recently, the Corny keg that I purchased, the nine litre one, that is one of the cheapest prices you're going to find for that keg anywhere. Um, you know. It should be a bit cheaper, I think, because it's the nine litre one, and it is a little bit cheaper. But some places charge a lot more for the nine litre one. But you know, and there's other examples. You know, the 25 kilo sacks of malt. I got the pale malt, and I think it was 25 quid for 25 kilos. Um, you know, I think that's a bargain price for what it is. Um, the grains are crushed when you order them. They're never sitting around, and you know, sort of. Going stale and whatnot. The um, the packaging is another aspect. Um, everything that always comes always comes packaged really well. Um, I've had some times where I've been ordered from places and kind of things have been sort of chucked in and not packed too well, and they, they can kind of get a little bit kind of like dented or you know messed up. Uh, most recently, they have changed the way they send the bolts. They still come obviously in the 25 kilo bag. Um, but they now come in a really heavy duty brown box, um, which I believe is like weatherproof and whatnot. And I know that Malt Miller ship to Europe as well. So, you know, you've got a nice box that they're coming in that's kind of like going to protect your malt to make sure that when you get it to the other end, it's in great condition. You know, it's not just the malt sack with a label stuck on it and, you know, ready, ready to get sort of damaged and exposed and whatnot to the elements. You know, it's packaged really, really well. I think that's a a credit to them for kind of having kind of a, a dedicated box just for the malts. You know, it's got like two sort of sort of hole handles where you can sort of pick it up from, and because it's not a you know it's not a light thing to kind of throw around, and you know it could easily get damaged in transit. So having its own box is a is a godsend, I think. So I thought what I would do, I'm going to do a little video of me ordering my latest purchase. I'm going to run through the website right to the very end. Um, because one of the other reasons that I think it's such a great service is the actual delivery service. Um, they use DPD, and I'm going to um, sort of take some screenshots on my phone, do a little bit of footage maybe, just to show you the extra mile that you get from DPD, the, the actual courier, when you get your sort of parcel the other end. So this sort of video will go from here to me kind of ordering the actual product that I'm going to order, take you through the website right through to the other end when you see kind of like you know what you get instruction wise kind of and you know emails and whatnot right through to getting the product home so cheers right so following on from my um, intro I'm going to um, place an order now on the Mortwiller website just to um, show you how easy it is and some of the other stuff that I think needs highlighting um, Firstly, there's always a good sale section. Uh, most recently, there's the one pound hop selection, which has got quite a few hops on it. Obviously, there was a few more. I think people have been snapping up pretty quick, but you know, hops for a pound can't go wrong. Um, there's a sales item page, which has other hops in it, sort of at two pounds a pack, which is still a good price. And then you've got Twitter specials. Um, which are advertised through tweets on Twitter. It's always worth following Mortimer on Twitter and that for sort of information on new products and what's coming out. Um, most recently, 
selling of the um, the corny kegs, uh, and that the price that's exceptional. I mean, most most places are not selling them at decent prices like this. Um, I've just recently picked up a nine litre one, um, and I don't know anyone that sells them for that that price. So you you're getting kegs at a really good price, and they're the brand new kegs. They're not kind of the second hand reconditioned ones that everyone was grabbing up sort of a couple of years ago. These are the brand spanking new ones straight from the factory that made them originally. Um, your 25 kilo sacks of more. All different ones you can get. I've most recently gone for the, the crisp pale malt, also again at a, a really good price. And of course all the grains, if you want them crushed, are crushed at the time rather than sort of being crushed and less sitting around, so you know that they're going to be fresh. Um, but for today's order, I'm going to go to into brewing equipment. This is where you can get your um, boilers and uh, mash tuns and I'm going to treat myself to one of these stainless steel Brewtech brew buckets. Um, they look a lot bigger than they are in the picture from what I've heard. Um, they, they seem quite sort of imposing that picture but they are quite a nice little size so I'm going to uh, go ahead and grab me one of these. So simple as adding to the basket. And then we'll do view basket, and then I'll come back to you because uh, I'm going to edit it so that you uh, obviously don't see my dresses because you don't really want to see where I live and where I'm going to get this delivered to. But and I will be back in a second. So um, we're at the checkout stage. Um, I've edited it slightly so that you can't see the top two parts where my address, the invoice address, and the delivery address would be. Um, for security reasons, um, it details here what I've bought, um, the weight, um, and the courier. Uh, you can select Saturday delivery or next day. Um, I always go for next day. Um, it's normally around the six quid mark. If it goes over thirty kilos, it's about seven pounds. Um, but you do get it next day. There are a lot of websites that I've ordered from in the past where you have to spend over a certain amount of money. You do get free delivery, but you're not guaranteed to get it the next day. With Malt Miller, every time I've ordered, unless it's like a smaller quantity, like a packet of yeast and you're just getting it through raw mail or first class, you're you're gonna definitely guaranteed to get it the next day. So if you're gonna be brewing that weekend and you think on a Thursday before twelve o'clock that you know you need them ingredients you're guaranteed to get them on the Friday or if you choose the Saturday delivery you're going to get them for your brew day um, you're not going to be sort of like left standing around without your ingredients so we're going to select the normal courier and then we're going to click place order and then I'll come back to full screen so that you can see the, uh, the last part of the process Right, on to the final part now of the ordering process. Um, pretty simple, there's three methods. You can pay on collection if you're fortunate enough to be close enough to the Mort Miller or via telephone, which is the option that I'm going to go for. Um, by PayPal, which is pretty handy, not many websites do PayPal. I find it one of the most convenient ways to pay for most websites. Or credit or debit card. Um, and also your delivery notes or comments. Um, of recent I've been putting in here that well because I get delivered to my work that it is closed between one and two um, and the last two packages that information has been relayed on the package so that the courier hasn't attempted to deliver during that hour which has been really great um, so I'm going to collect not collect sorry click on pay or on collection or via telephone and I'm gonna phone and then place you know place the credit card or the, the card over the phone and do it that way. Um, I'm gonna follow up with this video of the actual 
what happens next after you've placed the order um, and the service that you get from the courier because I kind of believe it to be one of the best services that I've experienced from uh, a retail point of view and for the you know the end user of you know tracking your parcel and making sure that you get it so I'll be adding that onto the end part of this so I'm going to click make payment right so today was the day of the delivery from Mort Miller um, obviously after you've purchased from the website you're going to get a confirmation email saying that you know you've paid for your goods the payment's gone through um, on the next day you're going to get a text to say that your parcel is going to be delivered um, and you get an email as well um, the text you get will actually tell you I'm hoping you can see this saying that your Mort Miller order will be delivered today by DPD and you can change the time or the day or you know choose to kind of swap it around so you have you know if you if that day isn't a great day for you for whatever reason you can change out you can do one which is deliver to neighbor or you can choose the option you know of whatever day it's gonna you know get sent you know if that is the next day right then after that just get on my phone you then get a link on that text and you click that link and that takes you to a, a DPD sort of like little web page you can do this on your computer or your phone and most people have got like a, you know, a smartphone now they can check it on and it brings you to a page which will tell you and look like this and it's basically a little map and it will tell you on there so on my one it says that your Mortmill order is going to be delivered today by Chatter that's the actual delivery driver's name um, between 1506 and 1606 um, you can see on there it says that he is currently making delivery number one out of five so on this particular run he's got five drops to make he's doing number one out of the five he's approximately an hour and 15 minutes away so at that point you know he's going to be coming between that hour time frame so you know if you're sort of at the shops you know you kind of you know he's going to be coming so you've got time to kind of you know be in if you're not in then as obviously as it counts down you'll see hopefully that's in focus on this one he's doing number two out of five deliveries and then it's changed that he's 30 minutes away and obviously so on until the very last point he was doing delivery four out of the five and he was like 10 minutes away and even in that time if you refresh you'll see the blue dot is me red dot is where the delivery driver is and you'll slowly see that creep up to obviously your destination so it will give it you know give you a time frame within kind of 15 minutes of when that delivery driver is going to be there which I think is one of the best things ever for a kind of delivery service you know if you're at home and you think oh you was going to pop out you know that that delivery is coming that day but to get kind of you know it narrowed down to the right 15 minutes you know the hour but to know within 15 minutes when the driver's going to be there is perfect you know for me when I'm at work there's always loads of deliveries coming in different stuff you know for whatever reason I wouldn't want to miss the delivery same as if you was at home you know you could be at the end of the garden you know that that delivery is going to come at that point and the driver is there and it is accurate to that point because they're obviously tracked they know what time that delivery has been made so they will make that delivery within that hour time slot. You know what? What? How? I don't know of any other like home brewing company that you know offers that kind of you know from start to finish. You know, great website, great prices, great delivery services, and then great packaging as well. It's kind of like everything in one. You know, and that's the, the kind of the sole reason that I kind of wanted to do this video as well is because it for me it's really offering the best you can get and I don't see any other reason why I would kind of shop anywhere else you know if I'm going to get such a great service like that obviously I've got the parcel here so as you saw me purchase the, the brew bucket in the video and it is in a really heavy brown box um, there will be a video coming up of me reviewing that and 
putting into use and that. But um, we'll save that for another day. So I can thoroughly recommend if you want your you know your grains, whatever it is you want, and you want it there the next day, you know you're going to get it there the next day as long as you've sort of placed that order before 12 o'clock. You're guaranteed to get it. And I know many of home brewers, you know, they, they know they're brewing that weekend and they've forgot to get this, they forgot to get that. And I've had some circumstances where people have said they've ordered stuff and they've not heard from that website for, you know, several days. Or they might have had something out of stock and they haven't been informed. You know, personally I've always been told when something's out of stock, then it get you know, there's an alternative or it gets forwarded on later. But you're guaranteed, if you place that order before that time, you're going to get your goods next day and you're brewing, you know, and most, some home brewers, I would say, probably kind of brew on a whim, they kind of think, I'm going to do that this week, and you know, you might have a, a free time slot, it's perfect, you know, what more can I say, so please, please check out the Malt Miller, 